Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of intrauterine fetal death. A young female patient came with amenorrhea for 9 months. She had complained for no fetal movement and lower abdominal pain for 2 days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the thoracoabdominal region of the fetus. You can see surrounding fluid is diminished. If you look carefully, you can see a crescent aniquic area at the lower chest indicating the pleural effusion. There is no cardiac pulsation and echogenic foci noted within the great vessels indicating the positive robot sign. So this is a case of dead fetus. Here's the picture and you can see the dead fetus with a crescent anechoic area at the lower chest indicating pleural effusion. And this hyperechoic foci are air within the great vessels and no cardiac activity was seen. Surrounding amniotic fluid is grossly reduced. So in summary, about 36 plus week sized single dead intrauterine fetus is seen. There was no cardiac motion or body movement. Fetal pleural effusion was seen. Ecogenic air are noted within the great vessels indicating positive robot sign. Oligohydramnios is also noted. So this feature suggested as a case of intrauterine fetal death. Now the take home message. It's not a very big deal to detect a dead fetus, but always try to search and document positive findings in favor of cause of death. This may help the patient as well as the clinician for the management of next pregnancy. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.